All right, what's going on, guys? So we're here continuing to part one and two about the American Indians and the, the problems facing them and how they were started, they actually created. All these problems, we never had these problems. See, we had, we had good economies. We had um, trade routes. We, we own majority of the trade routes. They all came through here. If you don't understand, but um, Americas, the whole Americas, top to bottom, they actually have things that the whole world never had. Many of the things we know of today actually came from here and could only be grown here, was, cr was created here. So we gotta understand, like, some things can be on the other side of the, like today we take things to the other side of the earth and we grow them but at certain times it was only grown on one part of the of the world so we gotta understand how important this place is you know what i mean eat the pies you eat the um the jelly the jam those are all created here by your ancestors so he done a lot by by messing up your mind. You know, we have amnesia as a people, so all they need to do is food two one or two generations and it's like you almost never would know if it wasn't for people researching and trying to keep some of the truth alive and to this day you wouldn't know. If there wasn't books being written by some of the good people that that are of their race or tribe, you know, because a lot of different people are, are, were in this, you know, just like Psalms 83, they say they're confederate, so a lot of people are confederate and keeping this information from you and changing your name, because if you're an Indian, then you have rights that, that you don't have right now, you don't, you don't have to pay taxes. So if all you guys um, come in and shopping at their places and none of you pay taxes, that's not right. They're not going to make money. So if they hide the fact that you're an Indian and you call yourself some other name, whichever name it may be, then you're paying taxes. You're subject to their laws. That's the whole game. It's a commerce game. Their God is the God of commerce. Hermes, Mercury can flip it 10 million ways all gonna come out the same the history don't lie man they ban history but history don't lie it's gonna come out the truth comes out so when I'm talking about Indians I know I showcase the Native Americans the Mongoloids and the Chinese Japanese Mong um, Native American Indians sorry but uh, and Hawaiian, but there's there's a lot of Indians. Like I'll show you, man. There's you're an Indian. You 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 are Indian. The Indian. Let me show you. All right. Big wave riding. Whew. Awesome. So this is um real history www.com and this is under North American Native American. So I know you've seen a brother like this now extinct. All on people of California, they're not extinct. You, one of you could be one of them. They, you're calling yourself African American right now. Oh, some other Indian. That's not not Native American. That's for sure. You're calling yourself some other byword, just like the Hawaiians. Look, look, come on now. You never see none of your friends look like this. California Indian. California Indians and San Fran. Look, 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 look. <laughs> California Indians. 
I don't know, but this looks like um, the Montezuma one that from um, from uh, America being the latest and greatest description of the New World. See what happened was the Europeans they like to they like to log everything down. <coughs> So there's, there's a lot of books that you can look up. So this book right here, this is called America being the latest and most accurate description of the new world containing the original of the inhabitants and the remarkable voyages thither, the conquest of the vast empires of Mexico and Peru and other large provinces and territories by John Ogley. And the illustrations like these are from Arnold Desmontanus. Arnold Desmontanus, let me bring you up. Arnold Desmontanus did not go on the voyage, so I already know what you are gonna say, like, oh, the controversy. He did not go on the voyage, but what happened was the, all the men who went on the voyage, he they came back, and they described to. Arnold Montanus, who was a cartographer, he was um, he would draw maps and he did all types of artistry in that time. So they came, they described it to him. Today, if you get into um, somebody steals your car, mugs you or something, you go to the police. They're gonna bring a sketch artist and they're gonna say, "All right, sit down. Tell me how did he look? Height." hair color blah 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 then they come in with an accurate description from your physical description why is that any different than what these people these colonizers did these mercenaries these people were mercenaries sent by the the um the dark the dark brown the brown skin um leaders in europe they were sent here these are the lap dogs, mercenaries. Why would it be any different if they're describing what they see? Come on, you guys gotta think, man. <clears throat> so this book is worth fifty six thousand dollars. But you can buy a copy because what happened is this book is outlawed from selling in the United States. You cannot sell this book. But what happened was someone from India had bought the book and they had reprinted it, copied it, and they're selling the copies from India. So you can get it on Amazon. Amazon sells it through India. So um, it's only 50 bucks for the copy. So get it. Get two copies. This is accurate history. Tells you about a lot of stuff. This book is... This book is 674 pages long. It tells you about everything. The English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Dutch, everything. The American Indians, all throughout America. As it says, the conquest, the territories, the provinces. So you had systems here. You had, and you had beautiful cities and towns like would shut down their European cities especially even today look at this oh I didn't know I was gonna bust this up okay. man they this is what they described you your cities man this is my my people's cities man. cause my people was um they had locations in Utah Aslan and then even um in Mexico so this right here is a book called Mysteries of the Mexican Pyramids, okay? So this right here, <laughs> look at that city. Let me get you in there. This is a book, man. This book is, is dope. If you want to learn, because... This book right here shows you. Let, let me get. Let me finish this first. I'm gonna get on with that. Oh my goodness. So this right here is the um, 
some of the colonized conquestors like uh, Cortes then uh, doing a little uh, they're showing them the cities the Native Americans are showing them the cities you see the royalty this must be like Montezuma or something so um this is what they said when the Spaniard when the Spaniards first glimpsed at the island capital of Tenochtitlan glimmering like an exotic Venus at the end of a wide causeway with stunning palaces temples and pyramids stuckled with pink with pink volcanic ash rising from cerulean waters of the lake they thought they were dreaming though many had seen the splendors of rome and constantinople they were amazed at the city of 300,000 inhabitants fed by freshwater aqueducts laced with canals and carefully paved streets adorned by arcaded squares twice as built at twice as big as Salamanca's serviced by a marketplace where 70,000 Indians daily bought and sold a thousand different products from filigree jewelry to mountains of polychrome feathers, including those from the rare, the rare Quetzal bird. The Spaniards were enchanted by such, such luxuries as botanical and zoological gardens. What you got today? You got zoos, right? They get all this from you, man. You, they got in your mind, you're thinking they did all this. They created all this, but they just taking from what you had. By elegantly towered palaces, you have palaces like in Hawaii. You, right now in, in America, they say America, the only palace in America is in Hawaii. That's not true. You have palaces all throughout America that they destroyed. You had these things. Um, let me get back to it. Palaces higher than the Cathedral of Seville. They're comparing you to their greatest cities and there is no comparison. You guys need to wake up, get these books and find this information because it's deep. Surrounded by large and beautiful private houses. They had private houses. They was living like kings and queens with fragrant gardens. Come on now, tell me all, all y'all be truthful. When you guys was growing up, your grandma, your great grandma, she was always in the garden. She always had elegant, um, fragrant, fragrantful flowers and garden. Her garden was beautiful. That's, that was her love. She just wanted to be in the garden. You guys are farmers, man. You guys are farmers and hunters. Fragrant gardens shaded by bright cotton awnings where courtly nobles feast on fruits and vegetables. Con, you guys, cotton is your industry. The Native American, from the Negro and on, cotton was your industry. You got, I'm telling you, we had massive trade routes. Everybody came over here to trade. And, um... <clears throat> Cotton was your trade, your your industry that they came and they took. And they said, oh, this is our industry. You lucky. No, no, no. Okay, let's get this. Feasted on fruits and vegetables, sauces and soups. So you, the sauces and soups we eat today is from America. Fish and meat, cakes and pies. Cakes and pies was invented by you, American, the real American, the dark-skinned, melanated American, varied by such delicacies as maguey grubs with hot chili, winged ants and savory herbs, and rat and chocolate sauce. So they did it. They went wild with it, you know. But this, this is you. Look at these beautiful cities. This is recreated drawings. Look, okay, look over here. Now look at this one. All right. 
look at this one. This is a redrawing, all right, of a pyramid. Is that any different than what it really looks like? So, so I'm supposed to believe that they drew this pyramid accurate. But then when it came to this beautiful city that they was just amazed with and they thought they was in heaven. When they was in America, they thought they were in heaven. The, their leaders had to keep slapping them upside their head and reminding them that they're not in heaven. This is what they saw, man. You created it all. This is why they don't want you to vibrate on the level you should be. You know? They got you on a 440 hertz. Making it hard for you to process the information. When they know 432 is what you need. This is, this is All these things have been implemented. They, what they did, the first thing they did was come and take away your food. Come and control your food because if they control your food, they control you. What do they do today? They control our food, GMO food. I bet you you go and eat a fruit and vegetable. It don't taste nothing like when it did when you was a kid. But prove me wrong. Tell me not. Right? Right? Even if you go and buy the baddest ass organic shit it's still not that as good you know what I mean you understand I mean they put in organic on seedless fruits come on now organic on orange um, carrots that are hybrids our whole minds are twisted we need to get right this is this is crazy man this is like it's insanity <laughs>